Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. In this video, I thought it would be really fun to take you along with me as I go through my Pinterest account and some other websites and share with you what we've been thinking as far as home renovations and home decor. I definitely want to go brighter, lighter, and more sophisticated with our decor. Our house right now is very neutral and we also have a lot of dark wood as far as cabinets go. And so I really wanna stray away from that. I wanna do white and bright and a lot of glam. So I was looking up different themes and I feel like my look that I wanna try and shoot for is very luxe and almost like rustic glam, but not too rustic where it starts to look like farmhousey farmhousey <laughs> farmhouse ish the first page i have on here on my pinterest is my home decor and but i want to take you first to the kitchen because that is going to be the main main area that we are going to be doing major renovations everywhere else in the house we are we took up all of the floors and we're going to repaint we're not knocking down any walls because the structure of the home is perfect however the kitchen does need to be updated because it hadn't been touched at all and this is the photo that has given us the most inspiration because it is very similar to what our kitchen looks like now. However, a few things are different, but we are going to shoot for having this type of kitchen as best we can. So in our current new house, back here, this back wall here is completely empty. The old owners used to have a little kitchenette table over there, and we have our garage door here, and then on this side wall back here is a sliding glass door. So what we're gonna do is Fill that wall in with cabinets just like this with a hood, but we're not gonna do a, a white hood, we're gonna do a silver hood. And then the stove is going to be back here. Currently in the new house, the stove is located on the island and then there are two ovens right here. So we're going to take that out, take the entire island out of our new home and put something very similar to this. It's going to be very narrow, it's going to be long and we're going to have pillars just like this to have seating all around, probably two seats here, two here and two here. And then on the bottom, there'll be some places for storage. We're also going to have a little refrigerator for our kids so they could easily reach for snacks and drinks and stuff like that. So so the other side of the island right here facing the stove is going to be a pull-out drawer for pots and pans, which is very convenient. If you guys don't have pull-out shelving in your kitchens and you're thinking of doing some type of upgrade to your kitchens, those are a must. So that's the island. We are also going to be doing this style of quartz. It's going to be marble looking quartz and it's gonna have that glossy kind of polished effect, which is so beautiful. And then over here, this is basically what our current new house kitchen looks like. Obviously it's a lot older, so we are going to replicate this same thing right here. All of the kitchen cabinets are already white, so that helps, but we are replacing all of the cabinet doors to this very, very similar shaker style. It's called shaker style cabinets. So it is going to look just like this. Again, with the marble looking quartz, we aren't gonna have glass in the cabinet windows or cabinet doors. I'm just not a fan of that. I like everything to look hidden and clean. We do have a giant window right here as well. And then for the sink, we are going to have this long kind of commercial style faucet and we're going to go for a silver, I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if it's brushed nickel or some kind of stainless steel farmhouse sink when it comes here and overlaps just like this. And then for this side here, we're going to basically look just like this. We're going to have a kitchen, kitchen. We're going to have the refrigerator right here, very similar looking to this. And then over here, we are gonna keep this area as cabinets, but we're not gonna keep the counter. We're just gonna have cabinets all the way down. And then on here next to the refrigerator is going to be a microwave and then an oven. And then we are going to have a second oven right underneath the stove on this back wall here. And then this is a wine cellar. However, we are not going to have a wine cellar, although that would be really nice. This is going to be our walk-in pantry. We are going to try and do a door that looks like faux cabinet. So it's gonna look like there's cabinets all here, but when you open the door, it's actually a door or to the walk-in pantry. And then as far as the backsplash goes, I'm not quite sure yet what we're going to do. I've been looking at a few things. I do wanna make sure that it's nice and bright, but I also would like to have a couple, like some darkness in there. So I'm looking at something that's a little bit more reflective, maybe something with mirror pieces, but I'm not totally sure yet. And then these are called coffered ceilings. We were thinking about doing this in our kitchen. I like it, 
However, I just feel like it's a little too busy for my taste, even though it is beautiful. If the kitchen already had it and maybe we needed to paint it, I wouldn't get rid of it. It's gorgeous. However, I really like just the real clean look of the ceiling and then go all out with some chandelier pieces, something really luxe looking here for the lighting fixtures. I wouldn't go all white. I feel like it's a lot of white with the hood and then the chandelier. And then this is a really bold statement here. We love this. We are gonna do black or really dark espresso for the base of the island. But as far as the chandeliers, I'm looking for something that's going to be a little bit more dark um, metal with really bright um, crystals. Then our flooring is not going to be this tile. I don't know what this is, but we are going to do hardwood looking tile all throughout the house because it is just way more durable and it's waterproof. Uh, we've had hardwood floors, true hardwood floors in both of our last homes and with dogs and kids, it's a lot of maintenance. So we just want to just go with like the least amount of maintenance. And so the hardwood looking tiles is what we're gonna go with. We have read some things that are concerning, but as far as we, are concerned we are definitely in for the hardwood looking tile it's going to be a dark grayish with a mixture of light gray and some um, cool tone browns and it's going to be all throughout the house so you're going to see that here in the kitchen once it's done let me go over here and so here are some more inspirational photos for the kitchen i am in love with this photo as well the flooring is very similar however we aren't going to be doing these thin boards ours are going to be a little bit thicker i don't know the measurements i, I really love the color of this one and see how this has these really dark is it black I don't know if they're black or dark gray lighting fixtures right above the island. I love that pop of color. Even though it's not really colorful, it's dark. I just love how your eyes are kind of drawn to that instead of it being white. One of the lighting fixtures I was thinking about doing instead of two chandeliers is this like rectangular looking crystal chandelier, which is really beautiful. However, our island is going to be twice as long as this one. So I don't know if that is going to work. So I was looking at these lighting fixtures here and they're beautiful. They don't have crystals on them, but they have that kind of cutout. It looks like a kind of like a Tory Burch logo. It's a cutout, so it, make, it makes it look like it's super sparkly without the crystals. So these are really cool. <laughs> they're not like shiny crystal uh, chandeliers, but they're very bold and masculine. I think, see, I don't really know. <laughs> my taste is kind of all over the place because I see one thing and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what I want. And then I see another thing. I'm like, oh, that's what I really, really want. <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep my options open and look at everything as a possibility and then this backsplash I love how shiny it is I don't like how small the little tiles are I would like to have a bigger design but I do love the reflection it gives and then I thought this is really cool to have LED lights um, underneath the cabinets I don't know if that would look silly but I kind of like the way it looks and look at how gorgeous this is not that we're gonna do this but man look at how amazing this looks with the marble and then the V cut out with that reflective I don't know what material that is but it's beautiful and then the marble in the back it's just I mean it just looks so amazing but I just saved it because I love the, the the look of it but that's not what we're going to be doing and so now let's move on to some paint and tiles so we are going to be painting the entire house and I really really am drawn to this type of kind of like light gray paint color for the walls I've seen it in so many oh here we go I've seen it in so many model homes that we toured when we were originally looking for a house about a year ago it's the color that spoke to me the most whenever I saw it I felt good I felt like home and it just it just gives me a really good feeling and so this is very similar to what I'm hoping for but I want it to be really light gray so that it's not like a super dark gray like this one I don't want anything that's too dark I, I'm really liking all the different options that come with having light gray so these are a really great color selection here that you can either play with you know whether it's furniture or home decor or accent walls or throw rugs those are the colors that I'm going to be throwing in along with the wall color for example here like this accent wall is just so pretty oh I, I just love it with that pop of green and then the little pop of black with either the light fixture or decor that is just so beautiful to me I would be happy seeing that every single day in my house here is another color scheme I just love the way this makes me feel it's cozy it feels like home and then oh I saved the pin twice so here are the like the backsplash tiles that 
I was thinking of. This is so beautiful. I love the reflective pieces in there. And then you've got some like grays and whites and it just feels so luxe to me. And that's really what I want. And so we might get something, not this particular tile, but I've been seeing some, um, anytime we go to a tile place, anything that looks like this is what I gravitate towards. I love this right here. I don't really know what it is. It's just a picture I found. I don't know if these are, this is chalk, but this charcoal color with that pop of kind of like a burgundy color, it's beautiful, so beautiful. And luckily my husband loves that color scheme as well. And so yeah, those are the colors that I'm looking for as far as paint. So here are the type of grays that are available. I didn't really know this until I started looking. There's red tone grays, purple toned, blue toned, and yellow toned. And the tone that I have been gravitating more towards is purple tone, which is so interesting because I actually don't like purple. However, I do love the purple toned grays. And so when I tell people purple tone, all I think of is like violet and lavender and bright purple, like royal colors. And that's absolutely not what I want to go for. This right here, this color right here is so beautiful. This one right here, those are the colors that I'm thinking of for our wall colors. Okay. So now moving on to the bathrooms. So the bathrooms is going, they're going to have the same tile, uh, wood, hardwood looking tile throughout the bathroom. So it's going to be that grayish light brown hardwood floors. I, it was hard for me to find a bathroom with hardwood looking tiles. A lot of them have just regular like tiles in the bathrooms, just like this. We are just going to make the house look super seamless by having the hardwood looking tiles throughout the entire home. As far as the rest of the bathroom goes, we are going to be doing marble looking quartz the same that is going to be on the countertops. We're going to do that all along the walls in the bathroom, in every single bathroom. I was thinking of maybe having, you know, one bathroom be different from the master and then the downstairs bathroom be different from, you know, the kids' bathroom, but I just like everything to be seamless and easy and uniformed. So I can make some changes with the decor for like rugs and towels and accessories and stuff like that. And then the walls are going to be painted maybe again at that light gray. So next I want to go into lighting fixtures. I need to find some lighting fixtures for the master bathroom because there is a vanity in that bathroom that has really old fixtures that I want to update to crystal like sconces. I've been looking at something like this. This is so pretty. I'm a little worried about that pointy end. I could just see myself standing up in the vanity and knocking myself over with this little end here. I am uh, known for being quite clumsy. That is really beautiful. I would love that if it didn't have this bottom part. And then this is gorgeous. I love how it's simple, yet it's so sparkly. I would love to have something like that. I absolutely love that. But I also love the way this looks, how it has that light reflected on the wall it is so, so gorgeous. And then as far as lighting, around the rest of the house. My husband ordered this light here and I know it looks really small in the photo. However, it is 60 inches long and it has the ceiling fan connected to it. It is so beautiful. This is going to be in the master bedroom and it's also going to be in my studio room downstairs and then also in our daughter's bedroom. And then for my son's bedroom, obviously we're not gonna do the crystal chandelier. So we got him this chandelier right here. We just feel like it's a really like industrial look for his room. So we really love that for, for his bedroom we have an entryway it's like this like you have you know the front door and then there's stairs that go upstairs and then this goes to the rest of the house i love this look i love that it's a chandelier so it's classic but it also has that wrought iron around it so it looks a little bit more masculine that is beautiful that's i think that's kind of what i want and then in our dining room we are still in this on the search for a really nice dining room table but i think my husband might have ordered this one or no this one I think he ordered something that looks exactly like this. It's kind of like a diamond shape chandelier. This looks very, very similar to what he might have either ordered or has saved. Um, we definitely want something that's going to be like a real, real eye-catching piece because besides the entryway lighting fixture. We want something that's going to be like immediately draws your eye to it because that's going to be the first thing that you see when you walk into the door. You see the entryway to the dining room, which is where the chandelier is going to be. Okay, next moving on to the fireplace. So we had brick all over surrounding the fireplace and then the brick kind of came out. So there was kind of like seating in front of the fireplace, which I don't know how 
safe that is with kids. So we tore all of that brick down and we were contemplating having something very similar to this type of mosaic where it's really kind of luxe looking. We were debating whether we wanted to do a mantle around it or if we just wanted to do a floating shelf above it. So the floating shelf is something that we are gravitating towards. Let me see if I could find one. So this is very similar to what we might do. Um, I don't know if the mantle is going to be that bold or that floating shelf is going to be that bold. That's what we were thinking is just having the wood piece up here and then all of this just open as far as the mosaic tiles go and then hanging or placing a family photo above the fireplace just like that. And then lastly, it's just like the general feel of our living space. I wanna do something that's more charcoal colors with white and blush colors and green and pops of black. So as you can see, I have so many photos that I pinned for inspiration, but the ones that speak to me the most, I love this one right here because we're gonna have that darker wood here and that's a little bit more on the gray side. So having these colors with the grays and the whites and the marble and the blush and then pops of green with plants. I feel like that is just exactly what I wanna go for. And even the rug here with the white and the black touches, it's definitely my speed for this new house. And then even here, it's a little bit more muted. I don't know if it's the filter, but it's really, really pretty. And then here is another picture that has spoke to me. Again, with that rug, with the black detailing, crisscross design with the green plant as a pop of color, a little bit of that blush kind of purpley tone with the gold and silver and then the black and white. That is exactly what I'm hoping for, for our living spaces. Whether it's going to be our formal living room or our family room, that is what I am going for. And here, these are a little bit more luxe than we probably can handle with our kids, but I love the color scheme here with the grays and the blushes. And then this picture here is very, very similar to what our entryway is going to look like. As you can see here, you can see right into the living area, but this is going to be our dining room right here. And then right here is where you'll see the chandelier. The flooring is very similar to what we're going to have. And then again, with that statement like fixture coming out from the entryway. And then we also have this space right here where I think I'm gonna put a giant mirror. And so if you can see here, if you're just looking through the whole page, you can see that the color schemes are very similar to each other. I love having like pops of blush and green and black. So there's this house here that I am completely obsessed with. <laughs> I uh, obviously we won't be doing this in our home. However, it is so, so fun. Look at how amazing this house is. I don't know who it belongs to, but this is my dream living space. That couch is everything. That rug is amazing. It's got that really cool chandelier, almost looks like antlers, but it's a chandelier. And then that giant mirror in the back with that all that gold detailing. You've got those crazy kids, dolls in the back with uh with the floating uh pool kind of i don't even know if you can even sit in that but it's like a pool floaty and then the mantle on the fireplace is so just grand even that like, little blue accessory on the top of the mantle it's just absolutely amazing this is my dream i mean obviously if if we didn't have kids or after kids if we're gone and we wanted to have like the most eclectic space my husband almost uh fell over in his chair when i told him <laughs> that i love this living room he's like we're not gonna have that are we and i said no but it's so cool like, i had to save it i don't want to go into too much uh information about like the room specifically because this video can be two hours long but later on in uh, future videos i will go into to detail about bedrooms and actual furniture pieces that we're interested or going to buy and i always refer to my pinterest when i'm out shopping when we're just you know going to furniture stores or home goods or if we're searching online to make sure that i am within my color scheme i'm getting pieces or looking to get pieces that are going to complement the rest of the home and the style that we're looking for so in future videos i'll go into you know stuff we're going to get for each of the bedrooms the kids bedrooms the master bedroom especially and how we're going to decorate the house so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's pretty casual Coco. I do updates there and also in my Insta stories. We are super excited about the home renovations. We are halfway there. I know it's going to be a long road ahead, but it's going to be so, so worth it. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this little home inspiration tour through my Pinterest. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.